Hello listener, in our previous introduction class of linear equation in two variables, we have discussed about the general form of linear equation and what condition it must satisfy, we have discussed. Okay, and uh, we get it how many solution you will get from linear equations to solve this kind of problems better, better we are using graphs. Okay we will use graph to solve the equation. In our previous video, we have taken one example 2x plus 3y is equal to 6. Just go to the previous video where you will find the solutions. Okay? What solution you got it from that? When x is 0, y is 2 and when x is 3, y is 0. This is the solution you will get from the equations. Okay, whenever you are using a graphs, you should require x and y coordinate. So, you should represent your graph in a table for your better understanding. So, that you can easily draw your graph perfectly. When x is 0, y is 2. When x is 3, y is 0. Just plot, plot this table graphically. Okay. Better to use graph paper and scale for getting exact graph, exact you can plot points, okay. I am just drawing roughly, okay. Whenever you are putting a mark, put that numbers in a equidistance manner, 1, what it will be the highest number is 3. So, better take up to 5 in x axis, this is your x axis, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in your y axis, ok. When your x is 0, when your x is 0, y will be 2, when your x is 3, y is 0, ok. See, 0 is here, x is here, just join these dots. Just, just join this dot, okay. What do you observe by this? You will see that this kind of linear equation in two variables gives you straight line. It gives you straight line it gives you straight line. Here what is the solution? 0 comma 2, this is 3 comma 0, ok. On your straight line, how many dots you will see, how many points you will see means that many number of solution you get from an equation. Just take an example. If you are giving x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1. Just substitute in your equation 2 into 1 plus 3 into 1 is equal to 6. 2 plus 3 is equal to 6. 5 is, is, is not equal to 6. So, it is not a solution. So, you cannot see dots on a straight line. If you are seeing dots on a straight line with that number of solution, you will see that number of solution you get from an equation means all solutions lie on a straight line all solution lies on a straight line. One one you will does not lie on a straight line because it is not a solution. Okay? From our what you learn linear equation into it, you discuss about the form. Okay? Just go through a recap. recap. You discuss about form. Form of linear equation in linear equation into variable you discuss about form. And you discuss about the what condition it must satisfy, it must satisfy, okay. Then we discuss that whenever you are using graph to solve linear equation, you will get straight line, okay, straight line, straight line. And all solution of an equation lie on straight line produced by, produced by linear equation in two variables. Just note it down, then we will move to the further topic. Okay. 
in our previous uh, videos and previously we discussed about linear equation in two variables okay what is linear equation and uh, what is the general form and what are the condition and uh, what it produced it produced straight line now we discuss about pair okay i already said that pair means it comes in two two quantity that is called your pair pair means what a pair of linear equation in two means two linear equation you have to write it okay you have to write it okay just write it a1 okay a1x plus b1 y plus c1 is equal to 0 it is one of the linear equation okay next pair pair means you have to write two linear equation a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0 this is the general form for writing pair of linear equation in two variable for that condition is same okay where a comma b and c are real number real number and a square plus b square should not be equal means a1 and b1 a1 b1 c1 are real number a a1 square plus b1 square should not be equal to 0 for second linear equation okay this condition is same a2 comma b2 comma c2 are real number okay real number a2 square plus b2 square should not be equal to 0 means a and b at the same time must not contain 0 value okay see here whenever you are writing two equations you will get a two lines two lines means pair of linear equation in two variables means you can consider as l1 l2 okay l1 and l2 okay this is one line this is the second line what we said that linear equation gives you line whenever you are writing pair of linear equation in two variables means you will get two lines okay two lines when two lines are draw on a plane on a or draw in the same plane you will get three situation is possible three situation is possible if two lines are drawing on a plane this is one of the situations okay line intersect okay line intersect or line is parallel okay whenever you are writing whenever when a, when two lines are drawn in the same plane one of the three situation is possible either the two lines intersect each other or two lines are parallel to each other or two lines coincide with each other two lines coincide with each other either it intersect intersect or you will get parallel lines in a graph or coincide coincide there are three possibilities there are three possibilities either it intersect either it will give you parallel lines or coincide so our next topic is how to represent your pair of linear equation in two variables graphically that will be your next topic just note it down